بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس مائی نیم از مسز امبری ندیم ایس ایس فزکس ڈویژنل پبلک اسکول اینڈ کالج ساہیوال چیپٹر نمبر ٹو کانامیٹکس آور ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک از گرافیکل انالیسز آف موشن That is on page number 40 till 41. In graphical analysis, we can discuss distance time graph when object is at rest, when object is moving with constant speed, or when object is moving with variable speed. Objective By the end of lesson, students will be able to explain graphical analysis of motion and how to draw distance time graph by using variable quantity. Previous knowledge First, we are going to discuss some previous knowledge. In last lecture, you discussed speed. The distance covered in unit time is called t and formula of this speed is s is equal to v multiplied by t. You also discussed velocity. The rate of displacement of body is called its velocity and the formula of velocity is v is equal to d divided by t. V is for velocity, D is for displacement, and T is for time. You also discussed alteration. The rate of change of velocity is called alteration. And formula of alteration is A is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. So our today's topic that we can discuss that is graphical analysis of motion. اس سے پہلے آپ نے جتنا لیکچر سنا سپیڈ کے بارے میں ویلوسٹی کے بارے میں ایلسریشن کے بارے میں سپیڈ انکریز ہوتی ہے ڈکریز ہوتی ہے ویلوسٹی انکریز ڈکریز ہوتی ہے ایلسریشن بھی انکریز ہوتی ہے ڈکریز ہوتی ہے وہ سب آپ نے وربلی explain kiya lekin ab hum unhi quantities ko graphically explain karenge graph draw karenge between distance time graph between speed time graph aur graphical analysis ki sabse jo simple example hai that is your google map aap sabke paas mobile phone hai mobile phone mein option aata hai google map ka google map is the graphical analysis The actual result of graphical analysis. Google Maps में आपको different locations के बारे में बताया जाता है, different routes के बारे में बताया जाता है और एक graph की form में बताया जाता है, graph जो होता है, तो वो actually graphical analysis का ही result है. तो graphical analysis में सबसे पहले variables को discuss करेंगे that what are variables. The quantities between which a graph is plotted are called variable quantities and variable quantities can be divided into two types first one is independent quantity and second one is dependent quantity independent quantities independent quantities as the quantities of the age of the city can not carry for example of the parents آپ کے پیرنٹس انڈیپینڈنٹ ہیں وہ کسی پہ ڈیپینڈ نہیں کر رہے اور ڈیپینڈنٹ کوانٹیٹیز ایسی کوانٹیٹیز جو انڈیپینڈنٹ پہ ڈیپینڈ کریں فور ایکزمپل آپ آپ اپنے پیرنٹس پہ کیا کر رہے ہو ڈیپینڈ کر رہے ہو تو آپ کو اسی کوانٹیٹی ہو ڈیپینڈنٹ کوانٹیٹی اگر مجھے انڈیپینڈنٹ اور ڈیپینڈنٹ کوانٹیٹیز کا گراف ڈرو کرنا ہو تو آپ نے اکثر میپ سے بھی گراف ٹرو کیے ہوں گے گراف ہمیشہ کیسے ہوتی ہے ٹو ڈیمنشن گراف جن میں ایک ایکس ایکسز ہوتا ہے اور دوسرا 
y-axis. Now, how we can know that okay, which quantity is taken as x-axis and which quantity is taken on y-axis? How do we know that we have to take x-axis ke long si quantity ko lena hai aur y -axis ke long ko si quantity ko lena hai? Then we are going to draw a graph between independent quantities and dependent quantities. Graph of me is a two dimension graph lena hai in which one is the x axis that is your baseline and one is your y axis that is your perpendicular line. x axis ke long hum independent quantities ko lete hai because that are not depend on anything. Like for example, we can draw a graph between distance time graph. So, my first time kya hai independent quantity hai. Kisi time kisi pe depend nahi kar raha. Time pass ho raha hai within equal intervals. Lekin agar hum distance ko lehenge, to distance is along y axis. Because aapka distance depend kar raha hai time pe. Next object is at rest. Agar aapka object rest pe hai, to aapka graph kaisa banega? Graph is like this. You can see figure 2.18 distance time graph when object is at rest. Ek aapne x axis liye, ek aapne y axis liye. X axis to ke aapki independent quantities hai, x axis ke log aapne time liya in seconds. Y axis ke long aapne distance liya because distance is dependent quantities in meters. Time ko aapne equal intervals pe divide kiya from 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15 seconds. Distance ko aapne divide kiya from 0 to 10, 10 to 20 and 20 to 30. But you can see a straight line. Aapko ek bilko straight line nazar aari hai that is parallel to x axis. This straight line ka kya matlab hai? For example, mere paas ek car hai aur car uh, rest position pe hai between point 10 and 20. 10 or 20 ke darmiyan car kis point pe hai rest position pe it means ke car apni position change nahi kar rahi. Car distance travel nahi kar rahi. Lekin Car distance travel ni kari, but time pass hota ja raha hai, kyunki time aapke paas independent quantity hai. Time depend nahi ja raha hai. Time ne equal intervals mein pass hote ja raha hai. From 0 to 5, 5 to 10, and 10 to 15. That's why your graph is a straight line graph that is parallel to x axis. When object is at rest with respect to reference, it means its velocity is 0, its speed is 0, because it distance cover hi nahi kar raha. So, V is equal to 0. For example, in figure 2.18, time interval changes between 5 seconds, 10 seconds or 15 seconds. But, object does not change its position with respect to time. Then, graph draw will be parallel to x axis. Next, when object moving with constant speed, constant means fixed speed. Now, you have speed kya kar di hai? fixed. Now, how will graph kaisa draw? Hoga? Graph aapko show in figure 2.19. Mein. Distance time graph showing constant speed. x axis pe aapne time interval liya from 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15 and 15 to 20 seconds. y axis ke long aapne distance liya from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 or 30 to 40 minutes. Ab constant speed ke saath move kar rahe hai aur equal intervals mein equal distance cover kar rahe hai. For example, Zero se gaadi start hui, kis point pe gai? 10 pe. Or 10 pe usne kitna time interval liya? 5 seconds. Isi tarah jab wo 10 se 20 pe gai, to time kitna ho gaya? 10 seconds. 20 se 30 pe gai, to time kitna guzar gaya? 15 seconds. 
थर्टी से फोर्टी पे गई तो टाइम कितना गुजर गया ट्वेंटी सेकेंड तो द स्पीड ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज कॉन्स्टेंट इफ इट कवर्स इक्वल डिस्टेंस इन इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम फॉर एग्जाम्पल फिगर टू पॉइंट वन नाइन शोज अ कार कवर्स टेन मीटर्स इन फाइव सेकेंड्स ट्वेंटी मीटर्स इन टेन सेकेंड्स थर्टी मीटर्स इन फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स and 40 meters in 20 seconds its slope gives the speed of the object now we are going to discuss the slope that how we can calculate the speed of the object with the help of this slope a slope gives the speed of the object consider two points on the graph if object is moving with constant speed it means object is moving perpendicular to x axis is slope or speed can found by using formula v is equal to d divided by t for example v is equal to d that is your distance that is 10 meter and your time is 5 second 10 divided by 5 gives you 2 meter per second and if we change the value that is v is equal to 20 meter divided by 10 seconds then again speed is 2 meter per second isi tarah hum jaise jaise values change karte jayenge according to graph to hamare paas speed kya hogi same speed aayegi agar hum first uh, distance cover karte hain in first interval of time to bhi hamare paas speed 2 meter per second aayegi agar hum सेकेंड डिस्टेंस कवर करते हैं विद सेकेंड इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम तो भी हमारे पास स्पीड कितनी आएगी दो मीटर पर सेकेंड इसी तरह थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय फिफ्टीन फिर से स्पीड कितनी आएगी दो मीटर पर सेकेंड अगर फोर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी तो फिर से स्पीड कितनी आएगी दो मीटर पर सेकेंड इट मीन्स आपकी कार मूव कर रही है फिक्स स्पीड के साथ आप वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग विद वेरिएबल speed variable means aapki value of constant nahi hai not a fixed value object does not cover equal distance in equal intervals of time to fir aapka graph bhi straight line graph nahi hoga to aapka graph kaisa banega aapko figure mein nazar aa raha hai figure 2.20 distance time graph showing variable speed फिर से x एक्सिस के लॉन्ग टाइम बिकॉज टाइम इज योर इंडिपेंडेंट क्वांटिटी एंड अलॉन्ग y एक्सिस डिस्टेंस बिकॉज डिस्टेंस इज योर डिपेंडेंट क्वांटिटी टाइम इज डिवाइडेड इनटू इक्वल इंटरवल्स फ्रॉम 0 टू 5 5 टू 10 10 टू 15 एंड 15 टू 20 सेकंड्स नाउ वेरिएबल मींस ऑब्जेक्ट डज नॉट कवर इक्वल डिस्टेंस इन इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हमारी कार जीरो पॉइंट पे थी रेस्ट पोजिशन पे थी और उसने जीरो पे ट्रेवल किया टेन मीटर डिस्टेंस तो टेन मीटर डिस्टेंस में उसने फाइव सेकेंड का इंटरवल कवर नहीं किया बल्कि उसकी स्पीड लो थी उसने फाइव के बजाय टेन सेकेंड्स का इंटरवल कवर किया इसी तरह नेक्स्ट हाफ में फ्रॉम टेन टू ट्वेंटी उसकी स्पीड इंक्रीज हो गई और उसने 15 सेकेंड का इंटरवल कवर किया पहले स्पीड कम थी तो ग्राफ डाउनवर्ड आया फिर स्पीड ज़्यादा हुई तो ग्राफ अपवर्ड चला गया अब ऑब्जेक्ट कैन नॉट कवर इक्वल डिस्टेंस इन इक्वल इंटरवल्स ऑफ टाइम तो हमारा ग्राफ भी स्ट्रेट लाइन नहीं होगा हमारा ग्राफ कर्व फॉर्म में आएगा so how we can find the speed of the object actual speed of the object we can find actual speed of the object by slope of the tangent ab tangent line kya hoti hai aisi line jo graph line ke kisi bhi point pe meet kar jaye for example aap ek red line dekh rahe hain jo hamara curved graph hai iske niche ek straight line hai jo ki kis point pe meet kar rahi hai p point pe meet kar rahi hai so p is the slope of the tangent when object does not cover 
equal distances in equal interval of time then its speed is not constant the graph is not straight line graph then slope of the tangent can be found by using formula v is equal to d divided by t now we are going to calculate the slope of the tangent at point p p point pe q kyunki hamara p point aisa point hai jahan pe hamari slope meet kar rahi hai to p point pe hum tangent find karenge by using formula v is equal to t divided by t distance divided by time example to find slope of the tangent slope is equal to distance divided by time distance is equal to rs rs the total distance cover hua tha aur qs jo total time cover hua tha 30 minus 0 15 minus 5 divided by 10 the slope of tangent at point p is equal to 3 meter per second it means hamari gaadi ki speed kitni hai 3 meter per second isi tarah different points pe aapki speed bhi kya hoti jayegi different hoti jayegi so it's time for short questions aapne short questions ke answer apni copies mein neatly likhne hain और उनको अच्छे से याद करना है फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट आर वेरिएबल्स सेकेंड वन वट आर इंडिपेंडेंट एंड डिपेंडेंट क्वान्टिटी थर्ड वन हाउ वी कैन फाइंड द स्लोप ऑफ टेंजेंट नॉट साइन फॉर योर होम असाइनमेंट लर्न टॉपिक ग्राफिकल एनालिसिस आपने पूरा टॉपिक लर्न करना है अच्छे से याद करना है और आपने अपनी कॉपी पे नीटली ड्रॉ करना है डिस्टेंस टाइम ग्राफ वेन ऑब्जेक्ट इज एट रेस्ट वेन ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग विद कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड और ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग विद वेरिएबल स्पीड ये तीनों ग्राफ आपने अपनी कॉपी में नीटली ड्रॉ करने हैं 